Hi gang, Scott Davenport here, and this is a follow-up video to a review that I did of the Haida M10 filter holder system. And in particular, I want to talk about why I'm switching to this filter holder system from Haida. I'm moving off of my format high-tech holder system to the Haida system, and there's a few reasons for that. But first, if you haven't checked out the review that I did of Haida's M10, Take a look at it. The link to the video is in the show notes. If you're on YouTube, there'll be an info button somewhere on the video. Click on that. You'll find a jump to that video as well. But there's really a few reasons for me moving to the Haida holder. Uh, and first and foremost, even without these reasons, the image quality needs to be great. You know, I won't sacrifice image quality for anything. And the Haida glass gives me great image quality. You know, so what are some of the reasons? Why am I switching to this holder system? You know, so here's the holder system again, in case you haven't seen the review video. You know, typical, have an adapter ring, I have a, a holder bracket. But what's interesting about Haida is they've got drop-in filters. So this one right here, right? That's a polarizer. I can rotate it right on the top. And they've got other drop-ins as well. Four stop, six stop, combinations of stops and polarizers. And then also areas I can mount glass on the front. So first off is ease of use. It's very easy to move between having dark glass on the front with a polarizer, without a polarizer, that kind of stuff. Actually, let me keep this held up because my second reason for switching is it lets me leverage my investment in 100 millimeter glass. I've got a bunch of money and time and effort invested into my format high tech filters. I can use those with the Haida holder, same 100 millimeter you know, form factor, I can slide in a piece of format high-tech glass in the front of this. So I don't have to just, you know, wholesale forklift upgrade all of my glass to move to this other holder system. That's great. The, uh, the really like the, the, the cincher for me to move over to a new system is a vignetting problem I have been suffering with on format high-tech with their polarizer, the way their polarizer mounts on a bracket, uh, at wide angles, it makes the assembly start to show up in the photo. And I thought it'd be much easier for me to just show you this problem than to try and explain it in words. I wanna show you the problem I have with the vignetting on a Format High Tech system. But the Haida system on here now don't have the problem at all. The Format High Tech one, because of how I need to mount the polarizer and give myself space to drop in some dark glass, it pushes the full assembly out much farther from the lens and that creates a vignetting problem at wide angles. Uh, it's just as easy to show you what's going on as opposed to explain it to you, so let's do that. So the ring itself is thicker on the Format High Tech, the adapter ring. And so that's already going to push the assembly out farther. Now when I put the polarizer set up on, notice how far out that's extending from the front of the lens. So this is actually the lens, the adapter ring sitting in here and then this whole assembly, that's, that's, a, that's a fingertip to two fingertips of distance already from the front element. And because of the way the polarizer mounts on Format High Tech, I've got to screw it in here, and I left myself a space so I can slide in glass. That really pushes the, the holder much farther out, and it gets caught at the edges when I'm shooting at wide angle. Now take a look at how thin that Haida adapter ring is. With a fingertip test, I haven't even put the rig on yet, so it's just a sliver of my finger. It's right up against the front element, which is great. Now with the holder on and the polarizer dropped in, you can see that, yes, there's some thickness, but this is actually, remember the ring is kind of in here. It's in, in, in the center of this, and so I've really got less than a fingertip's worth of width coming away from the front element. It means it gets out of the way. There's no vignetting when I shoot at 16 millimeter. And I have space for a square filter. And if I wanted to, put an additional set of holders on the front to have two more slots for glass filters in addition to the drop-in filters, all in a very narrow package. So yeah, that vignetting problem is pretty significant. And it's cost me shots where I have to limit myself to say about 18 millimeter with the format high tech and in some cases i can't take a step back from the framing that i would want to get it costs me shots now i don't have that problem you know use the Haida system that filter assembly is just you know set back a little farther it's out of the way of the field of view 
and I no longer have a vignetting problem. So that was really the cincher for me. So uh, you'll start to see this Hida system showing up more and more on my in the field videos. Uh, now that I've switched over, I've put the adapter rings <laughs> on my, uh, my, my two main cameras and this is the system that I'll be using going forward. I will continue to use my format high tech 100 millimeter square filters because I can leverage those. Uh, but you know, over time, because you know, I've broken filters before, <laughs> I'm sure that I'll drop another filter again in the future. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll be you know slowly migrating over to the native Hide Glass, which is which is excellent. Their ten stop that I've used is great. The four stop drop in I've used is great. Uh, again, check out the full review that I did a few weeks back. Links in the show notes. And that's it. You got questions? You know, go ahead and drop them in the comments, or you want to keep it private, shoot me a message through my website. Hope you found this uh, information useful. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.